Let's look at a different kind of titration, a solubility titration. I'm going to take 0.1 molar NaX solutions, where X is either chlorine, bromine, or iodine. So sodium chloride, sodium bromide, and sodium iodide are all very soluble. So I'll get 100% dissociation, and I'll have chloride ions, or bromide ions, or iodide ions at 0.1 molar in solution. I'm going to add silver nitrate. Now, silver chloride, silver iodide, and silver bromide are low soluble salts. They have a very small KSP value. So silver chloride, silver bromide, and silver iodide will precipitate out of solution. The question I have is, from this curve, can you tell which is the least soluble salt? Is it silver chloride, silver bromide, or silver iodide? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, a low PX means a low X concentration. So AGCL has the lowest CL concentration and is the least soluble. B, bromide ions are an equivalence. So AGBR must be the least soluble. C, high PX means low X concentration. So AGI has the lowest I concentration and is the least soluble salt. Think about those three possible explanations and make a selection. We're looking at the titration of sodium salts, sodium chloride, bromide, or iodide, with a silver solution. And the silver salts, silver chloride, silver bromide, and silver iodide are insoluble. So they precipitate out of solution. The question is, when you've added a lot of silver, essentially excess silver, what are these concentrations of chlorine, bromine, or iodine? Well, the higher the PX, the lower the X concentration. Remember, it's minus log of the concentration that gives you the PX. So minus log of X concentration. So if the PX is high, then you have 10 to the minus high number versus 10 to the minus low number. 10 to the minus high number is a smaller number. So this represents the smallest concentration of iodine. So iodide, in the presence of silver ions, has the lowest concentration, so it's the least soluble. It is the one that forms the most silver iodide solid of these three. Silver iodide is the answer here, because iodine is the lowest concentration, the highest PX, at the end of these titrations.